What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog here with a most anticipated, my most anticipated of the five. This will be five films I'm most looking forward to out of all the great films we got. You know what I'm saying? Coming in the fall, as you guys know, it's fall season usually the time where we get those Oscar movies, and then we still have a couple movies that could have been set in like the summer, but they coming out in the fall. And I'm really looking forward to. You got your horrors. All of this stuff going on in the fall was like one of the best movie seasons. Like you go right from the summer that you had a look. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say the little still in like September and August and stuff. But you know what I'm saying. It, it's it's not as exciting. And you had that little little pause, I guess I would say. Then it, it really rears back up with a lot of great films. You have great films that come out in those months too. I'm just saying, like towards the later half of the year, it it, it gets really good. And these are only films uh, that are coming out. In two, I did this list for like films that are coming out fall, winter. You know what I'm saying? Just pretty much like from now to like the end of uh, 2018. Um, Wow, this year is almost over. Also, I know I haven't re been reviewing a lot of the films that have been coming out lately. I've been crazy, crazy busy. Uh, I haven't, I haven't been able to do a lot of shit. I've been working on, uh, like getting away from here. Uh, I've been working on uh, stuff that's gonna improve my channel dearly. Like a, a bunch gonna really give my channel a boost. Somebody, somebody commented the other day, like, "Hey, bro, you got some shitty quality videos." I was just like. Ah, cool. <laughs> you know, it's like it's a lot of shit. But uh, yeah, uh, this is my top five though. Let's get into my top five anticipated. I want to know you guys' top five anticipated down in the comments. But before you get the comment yours, let me tell you about mine. Uh, and number five, I got White Boy Rick. Man, listen, I, I don't know why, but I, I like the trailer for this movie a lot, and I like the concept. You know what I'm saying? And it's based off a true story, but I think the movie's gonna do a better job for. I, now you can hear about the story, and you be like, "Oh, that's that was cool." You know what I'm saying? I used to inform me he was a kingpin, all of that. You know what I'm saying? He's a white dude. You know, he's on the street with the black guys. You know, sitting selling coke or whatever. It's cool. I, I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a fan of drug dealer type movies. It, it is what it is. Okay, and where I come from, that's it's normal. And it's cool to see shit. Uh, even though he was an informant, which we you know what I'm saying don't. Yeah, you know, don't respect that. But you know, they, the trailer looks fun. The trailer for this movie looks good. I might be kind of hey, uh, oh god, I can't think of his name. The star. It's just all all around. The trailer what really sold me on this movie. I wasn't thinking about it. I was in the movie. I didn't even do a react. I don't think I did a reaction to. It. I think I first time I saw this trailer was in the theater. So I was like, okay, this looks pretty damn good. And yeah, uh, the next one is a Star Is Born with Lady Gaga. And Bradley Cooper, I think it's Bradley Cooper directorial debut. Is it? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, it might not. It might. It might not be true. I don't know though. I have to check. Uh, but I love this trailer. Like, like I, I got emotional just watching this freaking trailer. If I'm just really being honest, ain't no point of me lying. I ain't gotta be hard all the time. Listen, I, I watched this trailer. I was just like, yes, I can watch this. I want to see this movie now. And the way I did this list is like. If all these movies are playing in the theater and I got an entire day to watch movies, which one, well, if I have like five consistent days, like which ones am I watching first? You know, which one I want to see first? And this movie definitely was, it, it was by, it was battling with number three. I was like, yo, I have to see this. You know what I'm saying? A Star is Born is something. I know it's based off like a, a movie I think it was made in like 1973, 98. I don't know. I know I think I, I think it might be on Hulu or something. I know this is based off another movie or it might be based off a book. I don't know exactly. But Bradley Cooper, La Lady Gaga, is already getting rave reviews. Her Apparently Lady Gaga gives a, a great performance in it. And like I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for romance. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sucker for romance in movies. I don't believe in the shit in real life, but in movies, I think the shit is it comes out great and it make you believe in the shit. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to a Star is Born. But number three, listen, we got, if you guys have been around this channel for a while, you guys know I'm a fan of Transformers. I, I grew up on it. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, all of it, you know what I'm saying, I've always been a fan of it, and this Bumblebee, the Bumblebee trailer was great, if we did, hey, let's not fail, John Cena, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's take place in the 80s, it takes you back to like the nostalgia feel, you know what I'm saying, it seems like, a, I don't want to say E.T. type feeling, we have this, this someone, a kid and someone from outer space, because I'm not a big fan of E.T., shoot me, you know what I'm saying, I'm not a big fan of that, but, 
It gives you that, 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 that girl, the guy and his dog, a girl and a cat, or a girl and a dog. I don't know. Either way it go, I like this trailer. I think this movie's going to be great. I think it's going to be the Transformer film that everybody can agree upon. Because, listen, like I said, the Transformers films, ain't been, like the fifth one is horrible. Okay, that's an abomination to film. But I do like the Transformers movie. One is cool, and I think three is the, one of the absolute greatest things I've ever watched on, t on TV. And I'll watch it a million times over because I've probably watched it a million times already. But, yeah, I definitely want to see Bumblebee. I'm looking forward to it. And I think, like I said, I think it's going to be the film that, you know what I'm saying, collectively is critically and like by people who enjoy the other films and who want to enjoy these Transformers films. Uh, down to number two, Creed 2. This first Creed was crazy. One of my favorite films, probably of all time, has one of my favorite scenes of all time. And that was a no, that was a no cut scene where, uh, you know what I'm saying, he was fighting, uh, Creed was fighting uh, old guy's son, the guy at the gym son. Probably my favorite scene in a movie, period. If I'm just really being honest, I know it's in my top five, it gotta be. Uh, but yeah, and then the fact that we have him going up against Ivan Drago's son, <laughs> come on, I, the, the ticket was so, the ticket was so once I heard about this. I ain't wait for the trade. I'll be keeping up with this. I know Ryan Coogler not directing it, but I do have faith in. Uh, uh, I had faith in this movie because I feel like, like I don't think this is a cash grab. I think they legitimately had something, a story to tell, and I, I think this is going to hit what people wanted. I yeah, think it's going to cut. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I think Creed 2 is going to be a good film. I think the first one was a, a hit, and to me, probably one of my favorite out of the Rocket, the entire Rocket franchise. But I'm not, I don't, I don't even need two to do the same thing. I just need to get to get a part of that because the first one to me is complete platinum okay i just need the first one to get you know what i'm saying get go if it, if it be go <laughs> so uh my number one which is probably should, to be no surprise you guys keep up with this channel at all is aquaman uh, i'm a huge dc fan uh i love comic book movies my favorite genre of music Excuse me, favorite genre of movies. So, yeah, Aquaman, Aquaman of course, will be. And I'm, I'm having, I haven't seen a DC movie in over a year. Uh, so, well, not over a year, almost a year. You know what I'm saying? Last time we got was Just Lee. And I don't feel like Aquaman was really utilized a lot in there. So, yeah, I'm really ready to see him in this. I'm really ready to see what he has to offer, what he can bring to it. And, and James Wan doing this. You know, you got Patrick Wilson. I'm ready to see Black Mountain. I, I, I'm ready to see uh, uh, Atlantis, uh, the, 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 the sharks, and, and, uh, the seahorses, the, 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 the trench. Like, every single thing about this movie for me as a comic book fan I'm ready, and that one trailer that we've seen, the steals that we've seen, everything about it, Amber Heard is mirror looked absolutely amazing. Everything about this, I, I'm getting like giddy just thinking about it because I'm really excited and really ready to see this film. Uh, uh, I'm not thinking about what anybody else has to say about it. I'm just really ready to see. I know we had a couple test screenings, you know what I'm saying? I've only been to like one actual test screening, and that was a uh, I went to a test screen of Deadpool 2. Uh, yeah, I like, saw it like three months before and got like an idea of what it was going to be. It, moved, it actually didn't change at all from the test screen to like the, the film. Just the CGI stuff uh, was more, you know, they got, well, the CGI wasn't quite finished by I saw it, but I'm ready to see this thing. I, I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, I love Jason Moore's Aquaman. He brings so much energy. I'm really, I'm really even just ready to watch the press junkets around this thing because Jason Moore has so much energy and so much. He gonna like even like he can he can sell you a, a, a bologna sandwich with no no cheese, like cold bologna, and you gonna be excited about that fucking sandwich. The dude just make hype shit. You know what I'm saying? It make you want to love it you know so yeah i'm looking forward to that so that are my those are my most anticipated movies of the fall i want to know what you guys have you know what i'm saying i mean you guys might have some some of those big oscar movies that we got coming out you guys might have some of these blockbusters we have coming i don't know let me know down in the comments list your top five and uh we just discuss them down in the comments so i'll catch up with you guys later Peace.